Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. And today I have another episode of Fast and Fun Fridays for you. With Autumn Upon Us, I'm just very inspired to make autumn watercolor paintings. And the supplies needed for this project is listed in the description below. I have a cool trick today to show you how to make a watercolor soft light effect. So I'm starting off with a 6x9 cold press watercolor 140 pound paper and I'm saturating it really well on both sides. This painting is going to start off wet on wet technique and I'm just mopping up some of the excess water so we don't get any blooms. always starting off with your lightest colors in watercolor. I'm using a cool yellow. I think this might be a lemon yellow. And we're making the sunlight, adding my colors in a circular fashion. The pink I'm using is quinacridone scarlet. And the blue is cobalt blue. So for the rest of the painting, I wanted some soft clouds, so I'm leaving some white of the paper. Since the paper is nice and saturated, it will dry very soft and give us a soft, fluffy cloud effects. I found the sky blue a little too dull, so I added some more of the cobalt blue. I'm gonna be blending that out towards the circle. So as long as you keep applying paint and water, your paper's going to stay wet and it's going to dry all nice and soft. Okay, so here is the big secret to making the soft effect is a clean, puffy makeup brush. A dry brush, I am going around to blur the edges together, wiping off your brush each time so that you don't reapply, you know, pinks and blues in the wrong spot. So I'm just kind of wiping it off on my hand. It's fairly, the paper is drying fairly well now, so it, it's blurring very nicely. Now for a lifting watercolor effect, I'm using a flat brush for the sun rays. So you want to wipe it off each time you drag it through. I'm varying the sizes of my sun rays. Okay, and varying the thicknesses just by having a lighter hand and shorter strokes. Let me know what you guys think about this technique in the comments below. Okay, so here I want the white of the paper showing through right in the middle of the sun rays. So I am picking up more paint right in the middle there. Okay, so that it has that sort of glowing effect. So for the fall leaves, we are using wet on dry watercolor technique, and I'm varying the consistency of my paint from pretty watery to almost a half and half consistency. 
starting off with uh, my yellow. This is like Azo yellow I'm using and I'm le leaving a lot of space to add the different fall colors that I'm going to need to. So I'm just doing all these random strokes. Some of them I'm trying to mimic kind of a little bit of shape of, of like the maple leaf, but um, other than that, they're just pretty random. Adding in a teeny bit of leaf green here. Whatever colors you have on hand, you don't have to use the exact same colors that I am. You can mix in a tiny spot of green with your yellow to get, you know, this light yellowy consistency. Now I'm adding in some transparent pyrrole orange. Okay, and since I'm adding it to the yellow, which is still wet, um, it has this lovely transitional effect um, with the colors bleeding together, just like real fall leaves do. <laughs> I'm also using pyrrole red, burnt sienna. Whatever you have on hand will be fine and create a beautiful painting. So you're going to start at one end and just work your way across. I actually remembered to start on the left hand side today, <laughs> being as I'm left handed. A lot of times I, I don't remember that and uh, I have to end up turning my paper around or waiting for the right side to dry. So we're just going across the paper and using the same colors, repeating this effect on the other side. <laughs> In the reference photo, there's a um, nice bunch of branches that are a little lower on the paper. And I like that because you have more interesting composition, I think, than just having the leaves all across the top. So you got this one area that's uh, a little bit lower and covers up a good part of that left-hand side. So if you guys like my channel and you're getting value from these videos, um, please hit the like button and think about subscribing. I post videos every Tuesday and I try to get these little series out uh, on Fridays for the 15 minute paintings. Adding in the leaves is just, it's a lot of fun. It just uh, lets you relax and think about all the wonderful autumn colors that we have in nature. Well, grab some apple cider for sipping and enjoy our autumn moment.
Let me know what kind of fall subjects you guys like to paint. It'll give me some ideas for some next videos. So for the final effect, I'm using a script liner brush with some sepia and just drawing in a few branches. Just with a very light hand. I, I don't want to take away from the pretty leaves, so I'm just randomly adding in just a few spots of branches just to make it a little more plausible. I use that word a lot in my videos, plausible. And also don't forget to sign your painting. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next week.